classroom okay all the links are all the source code is available videos are available okay uh, welcome back to the session uh, in this particular session we will look into lab program number 10 okay what is the lab program number 10 write a php program to sort the student records which are uh, stored in the uh, database using selection sort so uh, the requirement here is we have to sort the student records those records are stored in the database and for sorting we have to use the selection sort algorithm for this particular uh, um, program uh, we need to have the uh, uh, the database instance created and the database table created so first we will uh, look into the the code so this is the uh, code so here we would require the uh, database uh, apache server uh, and in the database uh, we have to set up a user whichever user you want to set up you can set up uh, with whichever the database instance you want to create you can create so at present i have created a, a user uh, localhost uh, is the um, uh, because we are doing it our server is installed on our laptops so this server name would be the localhost username is web user password is web user and database name is test one this is what i have created today we will create a, a new database instance and we can keep rest of the things same okay so first i will show you the output how it looks like uh, for that i have to start the database as well okay mysql database i have started So this is the uh, output before sorting. So we have USN like uh, 5, 2, 4, 1, 3. And after so sorting using the selection sort, the output is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. And this one is connected to a test database. And how to access the, uh, the uh, database uh, using the PHP admin. Okay. Uh, let me copy. You can say localhost php my admin. Okay, it is here. So just remember, you have to say localhost. First, you have to start the database uh, instance. Okay, my MySQL, you have to start this. Once you start that, you have to come here, localhost my uh, php my admin and click enter okay okay you can go from here also there is no issue sometimes it takes uh, uh, to some other it will route to some other site and that's why i didn't do that okay that's fine if you see here uh, you will see these are the different instances uh, we have uh, what where i have connected where my code is connected is to this database test one that is the database instance this is the test one and uh, in the in the test one i have a, a table called as a student okay so this is the uh, 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 table name uh, student and you can see these are the records okay these are records are stored like this five two four one three so from php i am fetching this then using selection sort we are sorting the usn uh, uh, in in order using the selection sort and after the sorting we are displaying it back okay and i will show he for this particular instance I have a user created you go to privileges and you can see here this is the user I have already created okay so web user and database uh, uh, web user and password you will give is a whatever the uh, password you are going to give it on this so you have to remember uh, these values are as per your requirement whatever values you want to set you can set 
today what we will do is first we will do the uh, database activities and then we will go through the code first is uh, let us not use the test one which we i have already created so first we will create the uh, database instance for that you will come to the php admin and you will say new okay you will click on new so it is asking for here database name so i will give a new name i will say web lab web lab and uh, any other values i want to set okay i don't want to set any other values i will say create database has been created once the database now this database is empty now we our code gets the data from the student uh, table so i will say create the table okay here you can say create table you have to give the name what name you should give in php query whatever the query you are using see uh, we have select star from student so don't worry about this code at this moment i am going to explain uh, just focus on the database activities uh, right now we have created a, a database instance called web lab inside the web lab database instance we are going to create a, a table called student why student because in my query i have used a select star from student if you have used some other name you have to give that name okay so student this is the name i am going to give i will say student and how many columns are there there are only three columns are there one is the uh, usn name and address if you have more columns you can do that then say go okay now we have to give the now table is created we have to give the columns so what are the columns the first column is going to be usn and what is the data type because it is alphanumeric i will choose varchar and uh, length you can say 12 or whatever you want to give the size then next one is uh, usn name and uh, length i would say uh, name is like 50 then address addr that is the exact name you should use which you are using in the code okay in the code i have used addr then address i would say just 100 okay then i am done here uh, then okay any other changes no okay then you can say go Okay, now when you say go, now table is created. You can see the table uh, table structure, USN name, address. Okay, and there is no data. If you want to go to check the data, go here. Select star from student. That is enough, and execute that. So this uh, query returned uh, no the um, returned an empty result set so no values are there now uh, table creation part is over now I have to create an user okay don't use the root some of the code uh, that uh, uses uh, root user uh, please don't use the uh, root uh, user uh, better you can create some other user okay this user is already created and uh, I have, uh, if you want to create one more user, I will show you it, add user account. Username web, I will say web user. Earlier it was uh, um, USR, I made it as web user. Uh, any host you can give or you can give local host, whichever is fine and password i will give the same web user same as uh, username and uh, grant all privileges okay so you can see here uh, do this grant all privileges on the database web lab okay then uh, give all the privileges it, this is not a good idea but uh, just for making sure everything work fine give all the privileges 
and you say go okay we didn't retype the password that is why it is giving the error web user you have to give the password and retype then you say go okay you have added a new user okay this is the if you want the uh, sql for that it is create user web user at local host identified by what whatever the privileges so that is the sql so now what we have done uh, we have created the web instance we have created the uh, table we have created the user now first we will make sure that our application works okay local host same I created the new user so web user right i made a small change this is a, this is the new uh, user so if you go back here in the privileges okay user accounts okay you will see one more account one second. Okay, you can see one more user. This is the one we just created, web user. Okay, so we have to give that credential, web user, web user, and what is the instance name database we created? We created it as web lab, isn't it? So what is the name here? You have given database name is web lab. That is the name. I will save it. So uh, I have created the table. The table is empty. So we will reload the page what it should show so table is empty because we don't have any data so table is empty and i have uh, written a, a script uh, to add a data insert queries so you, you i will share this you can um, uh, have the data this is the data preparation uh, this is nothing but the insert queries uh, i have five uh, records whatever you saw earlier uh, for that i have made a script insert into student what are the um, uh, column names usn name address values i have given some values five records i have created i will copy this and uh, go to the database administration go to sql okay and you paste those queries and say execute one row inserted but i see warning incorrect integer okay uh, maybe problem is uh, when we created the table we would have made all of them as where care okay so what we will do is let us see the table first what it has okay because these are uh, 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 integer that is the problem we will delete the data if we are encountering problems that is good so that you will come to know about more options five rows affected means five rows are deleted now we will go back to the table structure and uh, we will say change okay name i will make it as varcar and i will say save <coughs> now uh, name is varcar address is also integer we will change that change varcar you have to be very careful when you are doing this in the uh, exam any a small mistake will also give some errors you should be able to debug that now our table is set right usn is varcar name is varcar and uh, address is varcar now we will insert again so i will i have the four now table is empty because we deleted everything 
and uh, now I have the insert queries now it should work fine okay no errors one row inserted one row inserted so if you see that table five rows will be there so you can see these are the five two four one three and let us go back to the uh, okay it is here we will reload the page now it was saying table is empty right now it will have data now this is the before the sorting this is after the sorting okay i hope uh, all the database related things are clear uh, once you have the uh, database uh, setup uh, once you have the uh, database setup uh, then uh, you can focus on uh, the the other side so make sure that you don't get any uh, kind of a data base issues make sure that connectivity is proper once the connectivity is proper then only go for the if there are uh, any uh, problems in the code uh, first make sure that the database connection related issues are taken care okay then come to the uh, logical part on the php side so first you will create a database instance and after creating the database instance you will create a table after creating a table you will create a new user and you make sure that you give all the privileges to that user and after that you are going to add data in the uh, student table and then uh, rest of the things will follow now we'll go back to the code we'll see the code So this is the uh, uh, doc type HTML. This is the beginning of the HTML, okay? And this is the end of the HTML. This code is relatively bigger compared to all others. Then after the uh, HTML, we have the body, and inside the body, I have the style tag. So this style tag is for the table and cell, uh, table cell TD and table header TH. And what are the style I am giving? A border one pixel solid black so if you see border one pixel solid black that is the border uh, then width is 33 percent so we are using uh, relative uh, width whatever is the parent width of the body it will take 33 percent text align center all the texts are aligned to the center border collapse collapse so that is how you are seeing a nice uh, uh, rows here Bor um, border uh, collapse property should be always set to collapse and background color light blue background color light blue and uh, don't worry too much if you are not getting all these things right a minimal uh, uh, style is sufficient and you are using this style from the program uh, uh, one so remember one set of style for a table and you can reuse everywhere this is the same style that is i think used in the first program then table margin is auto so we are setting the margin as auto that is the style part now this is the beginning of the php code and php code so i have a variable name to store the server name dollar server name in our case it is a local host dollar username this local host should be exactly like this Okay, the spe spelling if there is any spelling mistake you will get an error okay it will not be able to connect to the uh, database local host and username whichever the user you have created on the particular database web user and what is the password you have given you have to give that and database name is the instance which you created database instance that name should be given here and i need one array i am starting uh, as a um, empty array dollar a is an empty array now we have to make the connection to the mysql server okay how to make the uh, connection uh, this is the method that is used to make the uh, connection to the sql database my sql i underscore connect and it will take these are the parameter first is the server name we have to specify what is the username what is the password and what is the database instance so it will use so this will locate this server first then it will locate this instance and using this username and password it will make a connection and that connection object is stored in the dollar uh, conn variable dollar connect variable now uh, when you make a connection you need to check whether the connection was established successfully or not for that you use uh, do uh, dollar uh, con uh, then connect underscore error 
so this will if there is a, any kind of a error it will uh, return uh, uh, that error and uh, then you will call this die method which will uh, give the details of the connection error so connect error whatever the uh, details of the connection uh, if user id password is incorrect all those information will be displayed on the web page then uh, sql this is the a string you will provide the sql as a string so select star from student this is your regular sql that string is stored in a dollar sql variable and now you want to execute the query how to execute the query uh, dollar result is equal to you are to, going to use the connection object connection object and on that connection object you are going to call the query method query bracket uh, you will pass the qu query string as a parameter so what is the parameter select starts from the student so it will uh, connection object already has the connection it will execute that query which is the query select star from student whatever result is obtained that result is stored in the dollar result okay dollar result will that have that will store that value next display the data from the database table as is so whatever the data we got from the uh, database which is in the dollar result variable we are going to display it onto the uh, browser as is this is the first part before sorting this is what we got from the database so first echo break so it will give a, a new line then center before sorting this is the text which is centered before sorting then i am starting a table table uh, border is equal to 2 again we are setting the width which is not required if you want you can set it there then table row uh, first row starts and first row has a header that is th usn uh, that is the first element second element is name th name closing th uh, uh, then third header address those are displayed here usn name and address that is the th and once that is done these are all the tds which will have the values now if uh, dollar result uh, number rows uh, num underscore rows num underscore rows attribute will have the how many uh, 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 records are there in our example how many records are there five records are there this particular value will be stored in this so five greater than zero answer is true in if you remember with empty when we did it as empty uh, uh, when it displayed as the empty that time records were zero zero greater than zero false then what else tr td column span is three table is empty if you remember initially when i uh, loaded the page without the data uh, we were seeing the uh, table is empty as in there was one row here and in the center table was empty why there is one row because i have the column span of three and i have the text uh, text as table is empty now in this particular case we have the records five greater than zero it will come here while dollar row is equal to result uh, uh, fetch a sock fetch a sock what it will this particular method what it will do it will fetch the uh, uh, record by record okay so when we call the fetch a sock it will fetch the uh, first row out of five rows it will fetch the first row and that will be stored in the dollar row then echo tr so i am creating this row now tr then i have td how many tds are there in this row i have one two and three tds so this is the first td td dot what is the meaning of dot concatenation i am concatenating with dollar row usn so it is again a, a key value map what is the key usn first row has the key called usn where usn is stored that is what i am accessing what is that value 2gi20 cs005 that is what i will get uh, concatenate with the closing td then echo uh, td dot dollar row name i am getting the uh, on that particular uh, row i am using the key name and that key name is mapped to for the first row it is sanjay k right and closing td and then opening td dollar row address whatever the address is mapped it will get that address then concatenate with the closing td and closing row 
because we have to close the row once we display we have to close the row that is how i get the first row then uh, array underscore push what is array underscore push is uh, it will add uh, whatever the value is given to this arrow uh, this array you remember initially uh, we created the empty array called a right dollar a it is empty now we are pushing the value of usn usn is being stored there so this array will have the first element as the first rows usn so see 2ji20 cs005 would be the uh, first element okay. uh, so similarly it will fetch the all the five rows and all the five rows are displayed here next is our sorting so now dollar a array has all the usn using those uh, values we have to uh, do the uh, selection sort and dollar n is equal to count dollar a so how many uh, records are there five are there five is stored here and i am making a copy of uh, this array into another dollar uh, b so dollar b will be assigned to dollar a this is the logic for the selection sort you already know the logic for the selection sort okay uh, how the selection sort is done uh, we take the position of the the minimum we uh, go through the uh, complete set if we find any values which is less then we switch the indexes okay we switch the indexes and uh, uh, once we pass through the complete uh, uh, array then what we will do is if whatever the searched index uh, whatever is initially initialized if it is not equal to the one what is in the uh, 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 later when we loop through means it has found another location which is minimum then we swap it okay so logic is i dollar i is equal to zero uh, dollar i less than uh, dollar n minus one that is uh, five uh, five minus one four i plus plus so uh, dollar position initially it is set to zero and i'm going to look for the next from one to uh, the four location so i plus one okay dollar uh, j less than dollar n uh, j plus plus dollar a position greater than dollar a dollar j so initially it is zero right initially zero so dollar a position zero means what this is the one okay zero zero five is the that value uh, greater than uh, this would be next value is one answer is two right this is the two so this will come as a true so what will happen is the position the new position it will go through the complete uh, uh, iterate and uh, it will find whether the dollar position uh, is minimum or not then we compare whether dollar position is not equal to dollar i that means it has found new minimum value so if that is true then we swap those values so in this particular this will find in the first iteration this will find this location then at this uh, logic okay when it uh, comes to uh, uh, this line what will happen is uh, the dollar position value will be 0 1 2 3 dollar position value will be uh, 3 and i value is 0 okay 3 is not equal to 0 isn't it so it will do the swap so what is the swap it will uh, transfer this value to this location and this value to this location that is how we get the one in the first position then it will go to the next two so it will not find any one lower than this so it will remain as is so that is the logic here that is the complete logic that is done using the selection sort after uh, this logic is complete now uh, the array uh, we have uh, is uh, will be sorted array so we will have the completely sorted array all the usn will be in the uh, particular order now we have to display it now already we got a dollar a array with usn as one two three four five with our example one two three four five and now we have to display usn along with the name now we got only usn but we don't have the uh, name corresponding name and address so what we have to do is we have to create a two-dimensional array and we have to take the uh, uh, the usn as the key and the value as name and address that is what is done in this piece of code okay 
create a 2D array whose key is USN and values are values are name and address. So you can see what we have done here. Uh, I have created the data array is equal to array. We have created this is a uh, it creates a empty array dollar result. Again, I am running the query. I will get the all the results five records I will get dollar result greater than uh, dollar uh, result num underscore rows it will have five five greater than zero true so it will come here while dollar row is equal to it is going to fetch so fetch underscore asoc will fetch the first row when it fetches the first row what i am doing uh, a data array so i am making it as a two dimensional it is already having one dimension uh, data array i am setting the key as a usn so what will be the uh, USN here? Whatever I get here, 2JI CS005, that name will be, uh, uh, that value will become the key and is equal to, that key is mapped to these two values. Name, uh, I have the key called a name mapped to this value, address mapped to ADDR. For example, in the two dimensional array, I will have uh, CS005 as, Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guys, am I audible? Yes, sir. Uh, and I think connection was just left two minutes back, right? Yes, sir. Okay. I will take five more minutes. Sorry for the delay. I will complete uh, that part. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. OK. So once we have the uh, sorted array, then uh, last part is uh, displaying that. Uh, I have a, a, a break here. So it will give a new line. Uh, so this is the uh, new line here. And after that, center after sorting text. This is the after sorting text. And uh, table border, OK, TR, TH. 
similar to uh, similar to this table i have usn name address and uh, then i will have a, a for loop here so i will loop through uh, 0 to uh, n minus 1 okay because how many records are there five records are there 0 to uh, that is 4 4 i am going to uh, loop through and uh, whenever i am looping through five records inside that what i will do is i will loop through the the data array this is a two dimensional array if you remember data array is what two dimensional where key is the usn and dollar val is a name as well as address okay and if it matches with the let us say uh, dollar ai initially dollar ai what would be the value it would be cs001 so this dollar key initially it will get the 5 right initially it will get the 5 so it will not match until the 4 until this loop uh, uh, i value becomes 3 that is 0 1 2 3 that is the fourth iteration it will not match at the fourth iteration this value will match so fourth uh, 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 iteration this key will map with the so dollar key will be 001 and a of 0 is also uh, uh, 001 then it will display the value tr it will make a, a row inside that there are three td three cells and in the first cell i am going to display what dollar key in the first i am going to display the dollar key uh, that is key is nothing but the usn value and the the another next uh, td cell dollar val which is uh, uh, mapped to the key name so name is mapped to a value what is that value akash that will be displayed then the close of the td then next one is a uh, td concatenated with dollar val and address whatever the address is mapped to the value so what is the value that is mapped to so this is the value uh, that is mapped that will be displayed so uh, uh, that is how the first row will uh, display then again we will go for the i is equal to 1 so uh, a dollar 1 what is the a dollar 1 a dollar is a sorted array so it is going to be cs cs002 so again we we are going to loop through the whatever the data we got from the database okay uh, database as a two dim we converted that into two dimensional array and wherever that key matches we are going to display that so when i am going to uh, come inside here is when i have the both the values are cs this would be cs002 when this becomes cs002 it will come inside and display those values so this is how it will do for the all the five rows five rows are displayed and uh, once all the five rows are displayed you have to close the table echo uh, closing table tag and after that uh, you have to make sure that you close the connection okay how to close the connection on the Uh, connection object that is dollar con you uh, call the method close so it will close the connection so uh, if you want to make any further query to the uh, database connection is already closed you have to establish the connection again so it is a good uh, programming practice uh, uh, not only good programming practice it is must that whenever you make a database connection at the end of your program you should close that connection otherwise what will happen is the connection will if, if, the open connection will keep on uh, pulling and sometimes it will result a major problem in the database you should make sure that you will always close the connection so this is how you get the output okay and uh, this is uh, how we are getting the output and if there are no records let us say this particular case if there are no records we have the select query select star from student table will not fetch any records uh, zero uh, because this value will be zero that time zero greater than zero false it will display like this i will just demonstrate that and uh, then we are uh, complete okay not here and just go to the table okay uh, then sql then say delete delete star from student so it will delete all the values do you really want to execute delete yes 
five rows affected means five rows are deleted now the table is empty now uh, we will uh, load the page again okay now it is saying table is empty where it is coming from it is coming from here uh, you make the uh, database connection okay so here here uh, you give all these values you make the connection uh, then you check the, there is no error then you make this uh, form the query and you execute the query okay after executing the query result uh, there is no data right dollar result num underscore rows is zero zero greater than zero is false it will come here so you have one row and td is spanning three columns call span is equal to three so one two three and we are saying text is table is empty so table is empty so that is how uh, uh, this the last program is if you have any questions please let me know uh, this is the one uh, program which is particularly uh, bigger and if you have any understanding issues uh, i will help